doing today, we've got some uh, some of these brand new Evolution heads. These are the, the late model series, 1340 motor. And uh, we're going to give them the works. And how we st normally start the job is we uh, establish the, what the bore size is going to be. In this case, uh, the customer is going to have a 3.780 bore. And uh, we take the, take the appropriate gasket. We slip it on the combustion chamber like this. This is just a little tool that helps me keep the gasket centered while I mark it. And I take a scribe, just your everyday scribe. Actually, I'm going to turn this thing over. Feels a little better the other way. Just take your everyday scribe. Some people like to blue these things. Some people like to mark them with different colored inks or whatever. You know, after, after doing a few, I don't find that that's necessary for myself personally. Just take the scribe and we we mark the bore size on the metal. The metal's nice and clean as you can see, so the the scribe line will show up. You see me going back and forth here. That's because I want to be sure that I've got the, the scratch deep enough to where I can see it clearly. I'm going around it a couple of times just to be sure. We cut all this metal out by hand and we have to be uh, absolutely clear on where the mark is, if you know what I mean. It's all eyeball deal. It's all done by hand and by eye. The object of this is to remove this big lump here in the combustion chamber. The problem with this lump is that it restricts it restricts the breathing around the valves. It also restricts the flame travel across the combustion chamber. The object here is to make this thing totally hemispherical, to remove all the edges like this little one here and this big lump here so the flame travels evenly across the combustion chamber and evenly across the piston top. We also are going to put a, a dual plug in this head. And uh, when the job is all done, it, it'll work perfectly. The, uh, the combustion chamber will match the bore size exactly, and um, that's the object here. It's kind of noisy over here at the machine shop today. I'm going to cut a little metal for you just to show you how we start the job. And uh, after I cut a little bit, then we'll come back and uh, we'll show you what they look like roughed out. That's actually what I'm doing today. We're going to rough these chambers out. So here we go. Okay, we've got this chamber fairly well roughed out now, and uh, I'm just rubbing my fingers around in it to make sure there's no high and low spots, just to be sure we've, we've done everything properly and it feels nice and good to me. And that's what they look like when we first start them. That's a roughed out combustion chamber for a 3.780 bore. Uh, I thought I ought to mention the fact that uh, when we take this metal out of here, we're, we are lowering it, the compression ratio slightly. We take out about 8 cc's. It's not a significant difference in compression. And uh, we find that the flame travel uh, actually increases the horsepower over the amount of compression that was previously in the, in the cylinder head. Uh, this is a great advantage in, in a lot of respects. Uh, so we, we do it to all of them. We match all of them to the bore size. We make the, the, the chamber, as you can see, totally hemispherical. And uh, you'll, 
appreciate it if we do yours.